Power system studies are comprehensive assessments of the electrical supply system in a given facility. They are essential tools for understanding the anticipated performance of an electrical system and determining the severity of a fault or other unexpected event. The data within a power system study can be utilized to safeguard workers by calculating the required level of personal protective equipment and reduce equipment damage by optimizing the fault clearing capabilities of protective devices. There are many different types of power system studies, each with its own special purpose and calculation method. Some of the common ones include Short circuit study, determines the ability of each component within an electrical system to withstand and or interrupt the system current. Coordination study, determines the extent of overcurrent protective device coordination within an electrical system. Each analysis is unique to a particular power system, any changes within the system can affect the results of the analysis and require recalculation. As for why these studies are done every year, it's important to note that some aspects of a power system study may only need to be performed every five years or so, while other tests might need to be performed more often. Regular power system studies are crucial for the protection and optimum performance of power systems. They help to assess performance in ordinary day-to-day -day running, as well as active and potential faults. Power system analysis can also predict the resilience of a system in the event of unexpected events. Moreover, they ensure that systems are operating at maximum efficiency. A power system study provides plant managers with the information required to upgrade infrastructure, delivering reduced operating costs, lower energy expenditure, and better reliability across the board. Load flow analysis, also known as power flow analysis, is a key component of power system studies. It is a numerical analysis that determines the steady state operating characteristics of a power system network. The main objectives of a load flow analysis are to determine the voltage magnitude and phase angle at each node in the system, to calculate the real and reactive power flowing in each line, to compute the power losses in the individual transmission lines. The load flow analysis involves the following steps. 1. Modeling of power system components and network. This includes generators, loads, transmission lines, and transformers. 2. Development of load flow equations. These are a set of simultaneous non-linear algebraic power equations at each node in a system. 3. Solving the load flow equations using numerical techniques, efficient and accurate numerical algorithms are used to solve these non-linear algebraic equations. Load flow analysis is especially valuable for a system with multiple load centers, such as a refinery complex. The power flow study is an analysis of the system's capability to adequately supply the connected load. The total system losses, as well as individual line losses, are also tabulated. Transformer tap positions are selected to ensure the correct voltage at critical locations such as motor control centers. Load flow analysis is a critical tool for understanding the operation of a power system under steady state conditions. It provides valuable insights into the system's performance and helps in planning for future expansion, optimizing control settings, and ensuring safe and efficient operation. Short circuit analysis, also known as fault analysis, is a critical component of power system studies. It involves calculating the current that would flow in various parts of the power system under fault conditions. The main objectives of a short circuit analysis are to determine the maximum fault current that can occur in different parts of the system. To ensure that the electrical equipment in the system such as circuit breakers, fuses, etc. can withstand the maximum fault current. To provide data for setting and coordinating protective devices. The short circuit analysis involves the following steps. 1. Modeling of the power system. This includes all the components of the system such as generators, transformers, transmission lines, loads, etc. 2. Calculation of fault currents. This involves calculating the fault currents for different types of faults such as single line to ground fault, line to line fault, etc. at various locations in the system. 
3. Evaluation of equipment ratings. The calculated fault currents are compared with the interrupting ratings of the equipment. If the fault current exceeds the equipment rating, the equipment may need to be replaced. Short circuit analysis is necessary to ensure the safety and reliability of the power system. It helps in the design of the system and in the selection of equipment. It is also used in the setting and coordination of protective devices. In addition, it is required for compliance with safety standards. Short circuit analysis is a vital tool for ensuring the safe and reliable operation of power systems, identifying potential problems, and ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements. Transient stability analysis determines the ability of the power system to maintain synchronism after a disturbance, such as a generator or transmission line outage. The study evaluates the system's response to large disturbances that may drive the power system out of synch synchronism, leading to cascading failures and blackouts. Transient stability analysis and load flow analysis are both important components of power system studies, but they serve different purposes and involve different types of calculations, here is a small comparison. Load flow analysis. It is a steady state analysis that provides a balanced steady operation state of the power system. It does not consider system transient processes. It solves a system of nonlinear algebraic equations. It is used to determine the voltage magnitude and phase angle at each node, the real and reactive power flowing in each line and the power losses in the individual transmission lines. It is essential for investigating problems in power system operating and planning. Transient Stability Analysis It assesses the ability of a power system to return to a stable condition and maintain its synchronism following a significant disruption or disturbance. It involves the use of mathematical models to simulate the behavior of the power system following a disturbance. It investigates system stability under some given disturbances. Its mathematical model includes differential equations. It is used to see how a disturbance affects a synchronous machine. Load flow analysis is concerned with the normal, steady state operation of the power system, while transient stability analysis is concerned with the system's response to sudden disturbances. Both are essential for the safe and efficient operation of power systems. Voltage stability analysis helps to determine the maximum power that the system can transfer without losing voltage stability. Voltage stability analysis evaluates the power system's ability to maintain acceptable voltage levels under steady state conditions. The study determines the maximum power that the system can transfer without losing voltage stability and identifies the need for voltage control devices including shunt capacitors and voltage regulators. Voltage stability problem is significant since it affects the power system security and reliability. Voltage stability is related to the ability of a power system to maintain acceptable voltages at all buses under normal conditions and after being subjected to a disturbance. Voltage instability is an aperiodic, dynamic phenomenon. As most of the loads are voltage-dependent and during disturbances, voltages decrease at a load bus will cause a decrease in the power consumption. However, loads tend to restore their initial power consumption with the help of distribution voltage regulators, load tap changers LTC and thermostats. These control devices try to adjust the load side voltage to their reference voltage. The increase in voltage will be accompanied by an increase in the power demand, which will further weaken the power system stability. Under these conditions voltages undergo a continuous decrease, which is small at starting and leads to voltage collapse. When a single machine is connected to a load bus then there will be pure voltage instability. When a single machine is connected to infinite bus then there will be pure angle instability. When synchronous machines, Infinite bus and loads are connected then there will be both angle and voltage instability, but their influence on one another can be separated. The dynamics involved in voltage instability are restricted to load buses with LTC, restorative loads, etc. These load voltage control devices are operated for few minutes to several minutes. 
So, generator dynamics can be substituted by appropriate equilibrium conditions. Under stressed conditions, coupling between voltage and active power is not weak. The following are the main contributing factors to voltage instability problem. Increased stress on power system. Insufficient reactive power resources. Load restoring devices in response to load bus voltages. Unexpected and or unwanted relay operation following a drop in voltage magnitude. Line or generator outages. Increased consumption in heavy load centers. Even though voltage instability phenomenon is dynamic in nature, both static and dynamic analysis methods are used. To operate the system safely, system is to be analyzed for various operating conditions and contingencies. In most cases, the system dynamics affecting voltage stability are usually quite slow and much of the problem can be analyzed using static analysis that gives information about the maximum loadability limit and factors contributing to instability problem. Static approach involves computation of only algebraic equations and it is faster than dynamic approach. Static analysis takes less computational time compared to dynamic analysis and conventional power flow is used in the static analysis. A number of static voltage stability analysis methods are proposed in the literature for analyzing the problem. In summary, power system studies are essential for ensuring the safe and reliable operation of power systems, identifying potential problems and areas for improvement, and ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements. They are a critical part of the design and operation of any electrical system.